Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that a sum lent on compound interest becomes $4,220 in two years and $4,642 in three years. Find the sum. Simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where P is equal to the principal, R is equal to the rate of interest and T is equal to time. Also, by the compound interest formula, Amount A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. According to the question, we have to find the sum of money that is lent on compound interest, which becomes $4,220 in two years and $4,642 in 3 years. So, the amount given in 3 years is equal to $4,642 and the amount in 2 years is equal to $4,220. As we know, the interest will be the difference in the amounts for two consecutive years. So, interest for third year is equal to 4,642 minus $4,220 which is equal to $422. Since the amount for a particular year is the principal for next year, therefore amount for two years is equal to principal for the third year. which implies principal for third year is equal to $4,220 and the interest for third year is equal to $422. As we know, simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Therefore, 422 is equal to 4220 into R into 1 upon 100. Where R is equal to the rate of interest per annum which we have to find. So, this implies R is equal to 422 into 10 upon 422 which is equal to 10. So, R is equal to 10% per annum. Now, as we know, amount A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. Therefore, 4220 is equal to P into 
1 plus 10 upon 100 raised to power 2, where 4220 dollars is the amount after 2 years Ten percent per annum is the rate of interest P is equal to the principal or the sum of money lent. Which we have to find. So, 4220 is equal to P into 1 plus 1 by 10 raised to power 2. Which can be written as 4220 is equal to P into 10 plus 1 upon 10 raised to power 2 which is equal to P into 11 upon 10 raised to power 2. This implies 4220 is equal to P into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10. Which implies P is equal to 4220 into 10 into 10 upon 11 into 11. Which implies P is equal to 4220 into 100 upon 121. Which implies P is equal to 3487.60 dollars. Hence, the sum of money lent is equal to 3487.60 dollars which is our answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.